What's up guys? We're back with a little something different. I know it's been a while, but oh man, life, huh? Oh shit, my wife just got back. How how fun. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Let's see if I can rig this up to make some sense. Uh like that. We got some ghetto rigging going on here but that's just gonna be what it is so I got three or four done I didn't really want to well I didn't even think to make a video until just now so here we are let's see what happens this might tip Oof. I don't know mm, it's all right it'll be good all right so what we've done this one was easy this one was easy and then I went ahead and did the far back one but now I've got this one right here. It's got all this funky shit on it. I don't know what the hell's going on with all this. Uh, I don't even know what half this shit is. Oh, hi. Hi. Here you go. Come on. What the hell is that? It's the order I put in with her a while ago. What she order? Oh my god. It was a while ago, and I've been waiting to go pick them up. I was like, when I can drive, I'm coming. Jeez. What else you got? Oh, vegetables. Vegetables? From your mom? Okay. Huh. Many interesting. So anyway, this one has two. Uh, if anyone's wondering, this is a 5 16th. I'm doing some... This is what I got, guys. This is what I got, alright? I'm not a fucking mechanic. I have no business doing this shit, but... It's just kind of a necessity thing. You just you figure shit out, right? Right. Like when you're working at Telex and they won't fucking buy you tools. And so you're like just figuring shit out on the fly. And then you end up actually doing it better than the, than the fucking engineers. And I'm not being braggy boastful. It's just goddamn objective reality, okay? I shouldn't have said goddamn, but I did. I'm trying to stop cussing and especially, you know, blasphemous. Stuff like that. It's kind of hard. Alright, we don't want to drop bolts, so I'm trying to pay extra care. One, let's put it over here. And two, so I'm going to put them in orientation of how I took them out. So this one was nearest to me, so I'm going to keep it nearest to me. This one was furthest to me, I'm going to keep it furthest. Alright, so now i got to pull this coil pack off. And these aren't too bad. Or haven't been too bad, I should say. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, I see. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. All right. What is this? So this? Hmm. Now I'm confused. So this looks like some fuel shit. This? Is this the boot? Is that the spark plug right there? It's not in here, is it? What? I should have paid more attention to the video I was watching. Yeah, this this should just come out. This boot. Oh, come on, baby. There it goes. All right, here we go. Weird. All right, so this one has all kinds of funny stuff. I don't know what cylinder that is, but... It's definitely a weird one. Ooh, I hope I can access this with this funky fuel line in the way. Damn, that might be a sticking point. Where's my, where's my stuff? So I'm looking for an extension with a 5 8 on it. It's right here underneath my, my crap. Alright, so here's what I got. I got this Lexica, Lex, Lexiva, I don't know, something, impact, extension, six inch, and then a, you know what it is. Alright, can I get this in here? That's what he said. Oh, baby, look at that. Just fucking barely. Alright, alright, I think we're going to be able to pull it off. So this side is by far 
at least from appearances, more difficult just with all of the bullshit in the way. So, I'm gonna come in here and just kind of stabilize this and try to break this without, oh, breaking other shit, which might prove difficult. All right. Holy fuck. I might need to, I might need some help here. So let's get this out of the way. So I'm gonna lift this tab on this. What the fuck this is? Squeeze this. All right, tabs lifted. Squeeze and remove. That should give me some clearance now, right? Maybe to get in here. That flies on my head. What is this? Here we go. Here we go. All right, now. Let's see what we can do. All right. Oh, baby. That one was in there. I don't want to snap anything off. And I'm not unplugging anything. I'm just pulling coil packs right out. I've seen people bust these tabs. And man, I've had bad luck on the Jeep. When I did the, I put some Oracle lightings, Oracle lightings, some Oracle lights, backup lights on the Jeep, on the Wrangler. She's got a JLU, a nice one. And uh, look, I've cut the shit out of myself and made a makeshift band-aid with a paper towel and a scotch tape. This is what I'm talking about. We just make shit work, all right? But anyways, she's got a JLU. I put these Oracle lights in. And instead of splicing in, Oracle sells uh, kind of like a breakout cable that you can tap in. And then it's like a, a splitter almost. Very, very sexy. I'm glad I bought those because then I didn't have to cut anything and I can return it stock if I want to, but there is no reason you ever would. But I like that option. But anyways, the freaking plugs on those, man, I didn't know if I was going to get them undone. It was such a pain in the ass. I got them, but wow, it was hard. And so I don't want to run into any of that with this. Like that plug that I just did, like I don't like doing any of that. I don't like unplugging any of this shit. Because sometimes stuff breaks. Sometimes it was like meant to be installed and not really designed to be messed with. All right, so here's my trick I learned when I did plugs in, I can't remember, I think the Envoy, Envoy XL. So I just got a piece of 3 8 inner diameter fuel hose. And the trick that I've kind of come up with is to just shove this in the hole, <laughs> right? Maybe with a little persuasion, a little finesse. And then just lifty loosey a little bit, just to make sure you're you're good. And then uh, nothing. So we'll try again. I thought I felt it. I thought I felt it on there. Maybe that's it. No, I must be. I must be off to the side or something. Or it's not released from the threads. hear it in there it might not be it might not be out of the threads so I'm gonna put this back in back it up some more okay I think I heard some threads I'm listening for a click all right I think it's loose now okay I think I didn't have it loose yet so there you go we make mistakes we learn from them Try to correct. Some kid just fell on his bike, and I was like, kid, it's all about how you pick yourself back up, man. Okay. But now I can't get this. To grab this one. All the rest of them were very easy. Yeah, it's like going off to the side. Oh, man. Step stool, these trucks are so sit so high off the ground, and I cannot see in there at all. Let's try this end. Maybe that end just has too much of a curve. Nope, 
there we go. Uh, yeah, that, that other end, you see how it's kind of curved? This end is a little bit more straight. So anyways, they just come out like that. So this truck's got just over 30,000 miles. And that's what these plugs look like. Let me zoom in. Hold on. Bink. So I mean, that's a 30,000 mile Ford. Ooh, someone's got some hair in there. What the fuck? Anyway, 30,000 mile corrosion. Not horrible, but definitely not, not good. Anyway, good shit, right? I'm trying to stop cussing. Quite difficult. So we're gonna open this end up. Pull this plug out. Back in there. Hey and then going the other way is just the same but backwards. So here's my new plug. These are uh, NGK, the uh, iridiums. I think that's how you pronounce that. Pre-gapped from our friends at Oz Tuning because we just tuned to this sucker with their Omega X. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that at all or give a shit about any of that. You see, I can just kind of turn it, get the thread started. I heard it. I heard it. S little skeet, little right there. Nope, it didn't grab. All right, so I'll try again. I thought I heard it. There we go. There. There we go. Nope. All right. So of course the one I chose to film is gonna be the one that's gonna make me look like a jackass. I think, there we go, yeah. So you just get it to grab that thread a couple, and then you can pull your hose off and the plug will be in there. And then, I mean, some people just drop them in. I don't know, that's just how I do it. You do it however you wanna do it. Like I said, I'm not a mechanic. Boom. I mean, I guess I kinda am if I'm doing mechanic shit, right? I don't know, how's that work? If you're doing the work, but you don't have the title, hmm. Interesting. Alright. Alright, that's nice and tight. Hand tight. So this is a half inch, and then I got a half inch to three eighths in here because this is just what I've got to work with. And there we go. And I'm just kinda hand tight, not anything crazy. That was stupid, I don't know why I did that. Go. There we go. And then now I need to replace this with this quarter inch to three eighths. So I go from half inch to three eighths to quarter inch to three eighths because that's what my my little torque wrench. The one that I can fit in here is just the inch pounds, and so I'm having to convert inch pounds to foot pounds, and I believe it's 12. Someone can correct me. So I've got this set up to 12. Think we're at 12. Good to go. I mean, I think I could have just hand tightened them and it would have been fine. And honestly, hand tight might actually be more than 12 because I'm hitting the torque. Oh, my band aid fell apart. My band aid is just a piece of bloody paper towel and a scotch tape. I think I already told you that. But it did the purpose, stopped the bleeding, we're good. So that's torque, so we got four torque. Now we gotta get this funky boot back in there. All right, and there's dielectric grease in there. I'm not re-greasing them, I did not put anti-seize on them. 
we're just kind of, uh, we're just running this, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, so that was in. There it goes. There it goes. These are interesting. They don't have like a nice, a nice click. I'm used to, uh, I'm used to really feeling that kind of tactile when it just slips in where it's supposed to be. And I haven't really got it on any of these yet, even the ones that were easy to get to. So I hope everything's fine. We'll find out. Um, that's one. That was the furthest. Here's the nearest. Ah, baby. This up here. Don't drop that anywhere. All right. <gasps> Ow, man. This stool is killing me, man. The, uh, the like, sandpaper is sliding, which is causing me to slide, which is then causing the stool to kick out. And I'm over here busting my shins. All right, so that's hand tight. And that's hand tight. And then we're gonna go back to half an inch to three eighths, to five, what did I say, sixteenths? Five sixteenths? Yeah, all right. And these might have a torque. They probably do. Um, I'm just getting them hand tight. They were just kind of hand tight. So I'm not, I'm really not prying down on these at all. I'm just kind of like, boom, hand tight. Boom, hand tight. Walk back over here just one good time just to make sure. Yeah. One more time. Just, yeah. All right, I think we're good. So, the difficult side, excuse me. Boom. The difficult side should be done. I think that's how all that stupid shit sat. Something like that. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, that's that's the coyote. So yeah, there's one, two, three, and then the fourth one you can kind of see back there. That's all of them. Now let's come over here. Maybe I can get you a better view of this next part. Oh, the intake's in my way here. Let's see. What about this? Maybe we can actually use the intake. Yeah. You can see that first cold pack, right? Yeah, you can. So we got these pirate beetles, I think is what they're called. There's just these little stupid freaking beetles. They look like like tinier than gnats. And they bite the shit out of you. And they swarm. There's so many of them. <coughs> Biting me. Alright, what do I got here? Stuff. 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 So yeah, I just did the tune. I have not yet driven the truck other than I moved it in the driveway um coil pack right here can you see that yeah you can see that so yeah these all just have one yeah once it gets loose you just go straight to the hand and then it's pretty easy oh man this side is butter if that other side was like this this is a 10 minute job Look at that, and that comes out. We set it over here to keep track of it. Then we're gonna pull this coil pack. Oh. Nice and slow, like Usher said. Bam, all right. I think that's Usher, right? Yeah, that's Usher. There's that, where's my... So I got half inch, I need three eighths to, or half inch to three eighths. Here we go. All right. You gotta go this way. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, there we go. She broke. Look at my freaking steering. 
That thing is clean. Um, anything and everything YouTube. I watched him and his son do plugs in a. They did plugs in a Ford. I don't know. I'm not gonna say what I was thinking, but anyway, uh, it wasn't about them. It was about anyway. <laughs> that gave me the confidence that I'd be able to pull this off because yeah, he had his kid out there pulling fucking coil packs, and I was like, holy shit, this, this small child is doing this. <laughs> Pretty awesome. None of my kids are out here doing this shit, but that's okay. That's okay. My oldest, he wants to. He wants to work on this stuff. Um, but he's at work himself. So, it's either wait until we have the opportunity when he's not at work. Or just get shit done that you need to get done. And I just, I need to get this shit done because I have so much other shit to do. Alright, so back to the tube. Tube goes in. Feel for that thing. Press it on it a little bit. Bink. And there's your plugs. So these are Ford. So what came out was a Ford C Y F S 092 FT. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're definitely not, they're not horrible. I can't get it to focus. Focus, jackass, there we go. I mean, that looks terrible, but they're not, they could be worse. I've seen way worse. At least they're not covered in oil or some crazy shit, right? Alright, so we go to the next box of NGKs that were pre-gapped by our friends at Oz Tuning. Which is convenient because then I don't have to mess with it. Now, I should have verified them with my own, uh, you know, gapping measurement capabilities, but we're just going to run with it, and if we have problems, then we'll go from there, but I think we'll be okay. I've seen, I've seen many people talk about different gaps that they've been setting. Some people have been setting 0.44, which is what Oz Tuning put them to. I've seen some people set them at 0.4. 0.5. I've seen people set them at 0.45. If you just go on the forums, you can see a lot of different people doing a lot of different stuff. And for the most part, their trucks are running, so I'm not really tripping on, uh, you know, the gap. Especially when a professional that's tuning your truck, their reputation kind of depends on shit working right. I assume that they did it right. Now, that's a dangerous game, but it is what it is. Bam. Alright. So this is going to be plug five. Nice and pretty. Look at these. Look how tiny that is. That electrode is so small. That's what she said. Bam. See that? Let me just focus on this piece of turd. Look at that electrode. It's so tiny. But I guess that's why they're so good. Because they're able to deliver all of that power and spark through a tiny electrode. And somehow it makes them better. My cousin said he put he put these same plugs in his... Uh, did he have a Silverado or a Sierra? Shit, no, I don't remember. His old truck. He said he put these in his old truck and like got a huge performance gain out of them. So that's kind of cool. No, maybe he came from having completely junked out plugs, right? So that's kind of what I'm hoping. I'm hoping this en this engine does consume oil, not a lot, but it definitely, if you don't add oil on it, it will burn it up. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping with these good plugs, excuse me, that we have a little bit of better performance. I don't really know what I'm talking about, so we're just kind of, we're, we're basically operating on how the same methods uh, Dr. Burks was operating when they said that the vaccines would work, is it was all based on hope, that's what she told Congress, not my words, she told Congress that, so put your warning on my video, you go take it up with Congress. 
So anyway, back to, uh, well that's not the right way, back to spark plug stuff. We have a little bit more than hope in that we've got practical experience. So the difference is they didn't have anyone saying, oh yeah, something, something. Ow, my God, I just fell on my truck and smashed my balls. That hurt. Ooh, do I get five minutes like in uh, UFC? I need my five minutes. That fucking hurt, okay. kind of using my pelvis here to support myself and when the stool slips it's just all balls my balls was hot Derek Lewis my balls was smashed me all right so we got the coil pack back on there we got that torque down to 12 foot pounds which I don't even know if that's right I just saw anything and everything YouTube he put his a 12 and putting mine a 12 we're going 12 I don't think Ford even gives a shit Dude, I took this in there for the engine oil consumption because it was kind of giving me some rough idles at stoplights. And my stupid ass assumed that they were doing their job and uh, that there was, you know, the proper amount of oil. Because, like, if I change the oil every 3,500, between 3,000 to 3,500 miles, I change the oil, right? So why would I ever anticipate or expect it to be low on freaking oil? It shouldn't be consuming that much oil, but it does. And so I took this in to, uh, you know, have them check it out. And what do they do? They freaking fill it up with oil and then tell me that they, you know, they can't find anything wrong with it. And I'm like, or change the oil, I should say. They change the oil and then they're like, yeah, we can't find anything wrong with it. And I'm like, well, no shit. You, you just put oil in it, but you didn't tell me it didn't have no oil. So anyway. Huh, my son's girlfriend's here, and my son's not. So that's interesting. I wonder what's up. Maybe he's getting Lily, or she's getting Lily, my daughter. All right, so that's just hand tight. Or maybe he's home, maybe he is in the car, I don't see. Oh. What's up? Oh, that's cool. Is the door open? Nice of her. She's a pretty nice girl. All right. So we got one on this side done. Let's get this far one just because I think it's going to be the worst. And I would just rather have the worst ones done and work my way into easy. Kind of go downhill, you know what I mean? So. Anyway, you always want to, anyway, I'm not even going to go into any of that philosophy. It's just whatever. Booyah. Oh man, I cannot wait to run this truck. I'm so excited, you guys. So I got the Oz Omega Tune. We're all stock. Nothing on here has changed. This is a completely stock truck. But don't tell anybody, I got a stage three coming. When it gets here, we're going to retune it again. I want the Whipple, but Jerome Powell and Biden are fucking up the economy so bad that I can't get the Whipple, okay? So we're going to have to wait until Trump comes back. And then when Trump's back, maybe, we're getting the Whipple. And then I'll have a stage three for somebody if, if you want. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing, huh? My bad. Let me see here. Let me get a different view. Let me see if I can get. Can you see that? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. That was super nice. How about that? You too. Drive safe. All right. Man, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that far back one, but you're just gonna have to trust me. Well, maybe. Maybe I can do some funny shit. Do 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 do. I'm not a videographer. Alright. 
coil pack. Come on, baby. Oh. Oh, yeah. See, I'm not disconnecting any of this shit. We're just running with it. We're just running with it like that. All right. Whatever. Get this in here. What a weird cable run. Why would you run the cable right there? Like, run it. I don't know. You're already on the firewall. Why don't you extend that a little bit and just run it along the firewall? Come on, now. All right. Can I get in here without smashing my nuts again? Apologies. It's just anatomy. I need an adapter, huh? Half inch to three eighths. All right. There we go. Get on there. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, I slipped. No, it broke. Oh, okay. I think I broke it and slipped. Meaning broke the, you know, the tightness, not the actual spark plug. That would suck to break the spark plug, because like dude said on anything and everything, now you're pulling the fucking head. And I'm not in any position to be pulling heads off a truck that I have to drive every day. So, definitely don't want to break it. All right, I think that's got to be free. I should have counted the number of revolutions and rotations, and then I would have an idea moving forward of how many it takes to make it loose. All right, baby, did I get it? Nope. Where are you at? Duel is gonna kill me, I swear. What is happening? Oh, it hurts so bad every time. And I don't learn my lesson. I just go do the same dumb thing. Oh, ouch. Oh, I need my five minutes. <laughs> oh, it doesn't feel good. Alright, where are you at, plug? There it is. No, it's not. Is that not it? It's not out? Do 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 do. Uh oh. Where did I. Where did I put. Well, that's not good. Hmm, I just lost my freaking 5 eighths and extension. Okay. Where did I set it, guys? Do you see it? There's this right here. There's the torque wrench. There's that thing. There's that stuff. What the actual fuck? Alright, well I lost. Maybe when I slipped, it fell down? You see it down there? Uh... Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. I'm tripping. Where did I put it? It's right here, I slipped, sockets, impact sockets, extension, extension, what the actual fuck? Bro. It 
it's a freaking chrome. No. I guess it's not chrome, is it? Oh, no. You know what I did? <gasps> oh, shit. This is the extension. So the socket's in there. So that's why the tube won't come out. Hey, now I understand. Uh huh. So maybe the spark plug wasn't free because it's grabbing my socket. That's weird. All right, there it is. There I can hear it. Weird. Wow. So yeah, I lost my, I lost that in the thing. All right, now the tube. Now the tube should work. I was wondering what the freaking shit was going on. Oh, baby. There it is. Ta-da. We did it. Let me zoom out here. There you go. Woo. Wow. That one's very rusty. You see that? See that rust on there? Or... Definitely some red. This is 30,000 mile plugs, man. Maybe that's normal. That one looks terrible. That one's got oil on it. For sure. For sure that's oil. That's not good. Anyways. We're not tripping. before the sun goes down because I still got to do my workout. I'm not trying to be here all night. This was supposed to be a fast job. All right. So this is cylinder six. That's getting a new plug here. And then we got seven and eight left. So that's going to go in. I'm trying to find some threads. We're just spinning our tube a little bit, trying to thread it up so we can pull our tube off. Our tube comes out with no plug. That is what we want. And then our socket goes in. We tighten by hand, like so. Uh, Ta da! All right, and then I'm going to just touch on it with this. Yeah, I had it right. I'm just gonna touch it with this. Uh, and that's probably right at my 12 foot pounds that I need. I'm just gonna verify it with our handy dandy. Nope, not that. I don't know if I can get that off with one hand. <laughs> She's a two hand job. <laughs> that's not a terrible. Yeah, all these adapters, not having the right tools really kind of adds a lot of waste of motion over and over and over. If you're into like Kaizen and all that. If you have the right tools, you're way better off. Okay, that was not tight enough yet. There it is. That's 12. So I'm glad I checked because I did not have that. Oh, smashing nuts. Fuck, that hurts. would quit slipping on me I'd be doing better yeah yeah every time I slip on it, it just smashes me not fun I got a kid here that knows a shitload about cars right you know, that's good thank you we, uh, have a little right both the upward door rested out uh-huh jacked up pulled them off oh wow Hyundai Sonata down south on a five grand to them all bought the parts for about five hundred Two days, placed all the shots, all the springs, all the show arms. I sent the photo to my uh, my brother-in-law who was working for General Motors. He's been through the work of Joe Shack. Yeah. And uh, they're rusted all the way through. He's like, well, why didn't you just wait a day or two? <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Decorations look good. Thanks.
thanks. I tell some kids walking home from school and they'd be like, oh, cool. Awesome. Did they ring your doorbell? The other day I did have a couple of kids, yeah. That's funny. No, they were looking for another kid in the neighborhood named Ollie. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, he's about six blocks down. I know. I was like, I don't know, kid. Sorry. He said he has decorations in the driveway. I got my real slow. I was like, if they touch any of those, I'm out of my car. Thank you. I appreciate that. They were up there and they were like, they were really looking at me. They didn't touch me. Thank you. Have a good one. I appreciate it. You got pretty nice neighbors. Bam. All right. Oh, come on, motherfucker. Oh, baby. All right. In it. Why don't you wear that shirt to your mom's? <laughs> What'd she say? You're this I'm recording, just heads up. She laughed. She laughed. She was like, damn. She goes, let me know when you are all healed and you want to go to dinner when they drop so I don't go out with them. Oh fuck! Seriously? <laughs> she, she said that? He was making fun of me because I was like, I look like a freak. I was like, that's <laughs> rude as hell. I don't give a shit. I think you look good. Oh, it was funny. I get it, but still, it's not nice. Oh baby, I'm almost done with this. Yeah, I got like halfway through that side, and I was like, I'm gonna make a video. Ow! And I did, and I am. Driving's interesting. Um, I was gonna say, how did that go? How did like how's your muscles? Like, do you feel functional and shit? I do until I get up. up. And is, do you think that's just because you've been so long now, many days? I don't know. I, just, I would expect, you know, if you like restrict your movement, you're gonna kind of like yeah. Like lifting certain things too. Like I picked up those bags and I was like, Ooh. yeah, be careful lifting anything. They're so light, but I was. Just Oh, baby, I'm almost done. Oh, I'm almost done. This has been such a fucking headache. Your intake stuff? No, this is just spark plugs, and the, I got the tune done, though. The tune was a headache because my laptop, dude, for whatever reason, I couldn't get my laptop to talk to the fucking, the dongle or whatever, <laughs> the little tuner. So I had to basically use your laptop, your old one up there that I use, but I, I don't have a screen for it. So I have to use that TV. So I had to, like, move all this shit. I put the truck, you saw me have the truck, right? Yeah. All stupid. You had it as close to the wall. Yeah, because I don't have, a, I have USB-C to USB-A cable, 10 foot, but I'm pretty sure they're all at the other house. And I'm like, ah. So I was like, I'll just move the computer to buy myself some room. Here. I got two more to go. This one's almost out. I to tell you. Oh, shit. Um, I'm gonna run over there anyway because I'm gonna drive the shit out of this once I'm done. Okay. And then uh, you can come with. What kind of driving are you gonna do? I can't drive crazy for at least 15 miles. Okay. And I'm not gonna drive crazy anyway. What kind of driving am I gonna do? Well, you just said I'm gonna drive the shit out of this, so I don't know what kind of driving I'm in. So this is, this is plug seven. So yeah, these are only, these only have 30,000 miles on them. Look how corroded they are already. Look at that shit. that right there, so that's a spark right there is what causes the explosion. Uh, are there any nails left in that picture? No. Wow. That's why I made a grilled cheese last night. Okay. Because yeah. uh, I thought there was a nice casserole in there, but it's, it's the chicken. And then this is what's going in. Oops. What kind? We have double A's in there. We have a whole box in the top cabinet. But be careful opening that that door because they're all gonna spill out. 
shop. Oh man, the sunset's beautiful. We've got some kind of fuzzy clouds out here. I'll just show you. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Woof. Very nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I need to get this shit done. So we're back here. Do 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 do. Um, trying to find a, I'm trying to find a good angle. That's what she hoped for. Where am I at? Down there somewhere. Come on down here. I'm gonna twist our hose. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Does it sound like the Borla attack? Maybe not, but definitely nice sounding exhaust. So I have stock exhaust on here. I didn't grab a thread, did I? I'd like to get the Borla, I want the Borla S-Type. Borla Attack is nice and aggressive, but you saw my neighborhood, man. I'm not trying to sound like that asshole every day when I start this. On a cold start, that Borla Attack is nasty. Nasty. What's the dude who has the who had the F-150 and he's got, what the hell's he all got? He's got a bunch of shit, but he had a supercharged F-150. Auto V-Log, is that his name? Man, his fucking exhaust on a cold start. That shit sounded so good. But I'm just like, dude, I can't do that. I'm not fucking 19. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? So I think Borla S-Type is a nice compromise between... Uh, what is it called? The attack and the touring. I think the touring is just not enough. The touring is just not doing it for me. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing here? Yeah, that's right. I'm tripping. This comes out. Quarter inch to three eighths. Twelve foot pounds. I almost slipped and smashed my balls again. Don't do that. That shit fucking hurts. Alright, boom. That's... Oh, I'm slipping. I'm falling. I can't get up. Rest in peace, D-Max. Alright. Now we need this, back to here, back to here, back to here, back to the 5 sixteenths. Oh man, I'm getting excited if you can't tell because I'm almost done. So don't rush this, don't rush this and crack any of this plastic crap. Alright. Oh, I hope this fucking truck starts. Please start. Please start. Please, 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 please start. I'll fucking cry if it doesn't. I, it did start, and I'm like I said, I just ran it out into the driveway and then turned it around and came back in order to do these plugs because I, I have them. So I have not really driven with the tune yet. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, baby, we got one more plug. We got one more plug, and then I'll take you guys with me. I'll make another video so it doesn't make this all crazy long. I know this is already boring as shit and visuals are probably dog shit and I apologize for that. But I'm not Jason Goodman. I not I didn't go to NYU film school. I didn't go to any film school. I think making movies and all that is very interesting. Art in general, of all varieties. Producing records, producing videos, producing movies. Writing songs, all that shit's very, very awesome. But I build microphones. I like finances and trading stocks and shit. Uh, I don't know. I like a lot of shit. I guess if I had the the means and it made sense to do it. Mm. There we go. I would, uh, I could pursue something like that. I just don't know if I'd be any good at it. Other, you know, you'd have to like, 
you'd have to be in a position financially to where you could suck and not have to depend on it. I wouldn't want to be in a position where you're like, oh, I got to make this money. And I've seen that with like recording studios and I want I wanted, I wanted the recording studio where we're not here trying to make money, we're here trying to make music. Does that make sense? That's the one I want to be involved with. Not that the other ones aren't awesome. My buddy had a studio here in town. TJ Sadler, Sad Sun Music. Man, that place is fucking awesome. It was a, a Wes Lachey, is that his name? Wes Lachey Design Room? Beautiful fucking studio. Super beautiful. He had, a, he had a whole bunch of nice outboard gear, a whole bunch of nice microphones. Control room, control room was gorgeous. The recording room was gorgeous. They had, I think, two vocal booths. Gorgeous. They brought uh, George Clinton and P-Funk, or whatever current members of P-Funk or Parliament or whatever they're calling their whatever. They came in and uh, collaborated with his, uh, at the time, business partner. And I got to assist on that session. It was freaking blast man george is a trip he's a cool guy oh man where are you at oh. Ooh, that's not good that's not good yeah the dude i don't know how old he is but Tell you what, he knows how to have fun. Boom, we got it. Last one, eight. So yeah, I was kind of like, I was uh, assistant. So I assisted with the recording. We set up microphones and all that shit. TJ engineered the entire session. Lucas was kind of like the production because it was his track that they were working on, and that that he he paid George to like, I don't know, be on or whatever. But then uh, me and uh, oh fuck, what was his name? Oh, I have his album too. Actually, I have his album in my envoy right now. Anyway, they sent us out for for wine. Oh, I just smashed that one. I dropped it on the ground, so that's definitely not gapped anymore. Anyway, Merlot. He requested a Merlot. Not George. It was the uh, the the trumpet player. Whoever was playing trumpet. So yeah, I mic'd. I mic the RE20 on a saxophone player, and then I put, I wanted to put the 635, which is an omnidirectional, so you're talking zero proximity effect. I wanted to put that on the trumpet, but the 635 I had was aesthetically ugly as shit. And when I put it on the trumpet, dude was highly offended because the RE20 that I put on the saxophone, I painted, I powder coated intentionally for George Clinton. There's pictures of it on whatever. I got rid of that mic. I wish I still had it, but. Anyway, I painted that, and I was I, I, I handed it to him, and I was like, isn't that the funkiest mic you ever saw? And he was just like, oh, shit, because it was beautiful. It was a color changing with an illusion. Um, prismatic, po prismatic powder, the powder coat, they have some really cool color changing paints and effects. And so I did the body of the mic in that color changing effect. It was like called like Midnight Shimmer or something. It, it looked like fucking space, dude. It looked like black but purple but super super dark and then it had a speckle that was almost like a rainbow speckle but it was more like it just looked like space and I was like that's the color that's the color that I'm doing and then I did the grill the head basket and then the grill on the body I did that with a, a super flaming like fluorescent orange and it was just hot as shit it looked funky as hell I was like that's that's funk right there that's the color of funk and it's just contrasted night, the orange on like that kind of purple. It looked fucking gorgeous. Anyway, George didn't use it for voice. I think they used a Peluso 2247 on voice or on vocals. Maybe a U87, I can't remember now. I think it's the Peluso they used. And then, uh, but yeah, I used that RE20 on saxophone. And so the saxophone player was like, hell yes, you know, because I mean, it just feels good. You have good equipment, it just makes you feel good, it makes you feel confident. And, uh, motherfucker! Oh, no. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna have to go find that. I don't know where it went, y'all. Son of a bitch. Good news is it's big enough that I should be able to find it. Bad news is I don't see it. Oh, fuck.
fuck. That's the first thing I dropped. I'm talking about fucking daydreaming shit over here. And I need it because I gotta torque that down. So I need a flashlight. This is not good. Hi. Right. We got doggies out here. I lost my extension and my socket, and I don't fucking see them. Uh, I just dropped my tool. Uh -oh. Yeah. That's not good because I got skid plates down there. And if I can't see it and get to it, it means it's probably stuck and caught in the skid plate, and I need that in order to to finish what I'm doing. You need some grab nabbers. What? You need grab nabbers. Oh, I was like, you have some? No. Yeah, I need that. I'm like, gravity would have dictated that it would have just fallen straight down. But I have a feeling it fell on that skid plate. Fuck. So yeah, I'm looking for that big extension in that 5 8 So it's not like it's two small tools. Excuse me. Dun, 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 dun. It's like two pretty substantially sized tools. Oh wait, I see it, thank God. Oh man, that would have sucked. And I can reach it too. We're safe. I got it. Humans win. Chunger over at Group DIY used to say that all the time. I think it was Chunger, maybe it was Matador. One of them would be like, humans win. We're over there building audio equipment. All kinds of audio equipment, all kinds of fun stuff. All right, so that's tight. Now I need a torque wrench, quarter inch to three eighths adapter. Oh. crisis averted so yeah let's see let's get this done oh almost fell and smashed my nuts again coil pack goes back in oh I hope this starts if this doesn't start I'm going to cry I hope it starts and I hope there's no check engine oil light and I hope I'm like super impressed by the performance We'll see. We will see. Very shortly. Alright, so it's this one. Hand tight. And I'm just going to walk over these all real quick just to sanity check myself here. Alright, that's nice and tight. Oh, no smashers. Ow. That one's nice and tight. And this one should be tight too. And it is, alright. Alright, let's go fucking see if this bitch will start. 
put my flashlight back, put my tools away real quick. I'm just gonna have to bear with me for a second, guys. We're organizing, I like to organize. I've been on this thing where my great grandfather, my grandma wrote a story about how my great grandfather, he was a farmer, he died farming actually, but how he never went to bed with dishes in the sink. And so I've been trying to hold myself to account and do that. Easy, I'll tell you that. It's not hard, but it's not easy. It's just discipline. It's just a little discipline. Just a little bit of discipline. And some uh, persistency. Persistency? Persistence? Something? And uh, consistency. It's like with working out. I've been consistent now for, I think, 10 weeks. And dude, I'm like in the best shape I've ever been in my life. It's fucking crazy. I'm 41 years old. I'll kick the shit out of my 19 year old self. All right, spark plug thing. We got sockets, extensions. We got spark plug holes. Oh man. And I think, so I got my gimbal here. We're gonna just take a quick peek at the hood. Make sure I don't have any funny shit just kind of hanging out. I think I plugged everything back in that should be plugged in. See, that's the 5 Coyote, a little bit dusty. But that intake manifold's coming off and I got a Mustang GT manifold coming. I got a throttle body coming and I got a cold air intake coming. Just to tide me over until the economy gets better and we get that Whipple. All right, let's shut this. All right, we're just gonna remote start it. You guys ready? Oh, it fucking started. Oh man. Oh baby. So yeah, this truck has, what are we at? 30,255 and a half miles. And she is sexy as hell. When I tuned it, it keeps resetting. So I had to do the, I flashed the tune and then I had to reset the cam. I had to do something, readjust transmission something. And then uh, something with the speedometer. It, it does have a little bit of a, a little hiccup in the idle, but it's had that. And that's kind of the low oil thing I'm talking about. So I go put a quart of oil in this thing and all of a sudden it will be, uh, fucking butter smooth so that was my beef with uh, the Ford service they're fucking great guys but I'm like dude I brought it in with a problem don't go fucking with shit until you've you've done the uh, what's it called the diagnostics you changed the oil and then did the diagnostics so like they literally changed the oil and then took it for a drive and then they wanted to keep it overnight and I was like you guys are out of your fucking mind you can keep it overnight and tell me you can't find anything wrong with it fuck off so I took it, took it from him. I was kind of pissed. Um, so yeah. Actually, hold on. I just want to make sure that my night mode. You saw me change it to night mode because it keeps reverting to day mode when I did that, the programming, the flashing. But I didn't do anything between the time. But I started it last and this time. So now I'm kind of like, is it going to keep reverting back to auto? Because that's annoying. I hope not. Okay, thank God. All right, guys. Um, you know what? We're just going to do a little cruisy cruise. You know, you know how I drive. We drive in sport mode. And that's not all. We drive in this mode. So we're going to just take it for a quick around the block see. Um, Ken at five star and Steve at five star. Steve in particular, I mean, Ken's awesome for all the work he's done and offering what he's offering. But uh, there's my little fucking workshop, y'all. How cool is that? Got the American flag. You see that bar? 
That's a strength company bar. That bitch wasn't cheap, but dude, that barbell is noise. So anyway, Steve at uh, Oz Tuning. Dude, he's been answering my emails. Oh man, this thing is running great. Oh, it's running so good. He was answering my emails, helping me out with... Oh man, this thing feels great. Ooh, I think I can already feel it. All right, I'm gonna let these guys go. Anyway, he's uh, answered all my emails. Super cool, they're on their phone too. I'm filming, they're texting. So now the transmission has to relearn itself. The adaptive transmission adaptation, whatever the hell it's called. I don't remember. So you're not supposed to go wide open throttle for at least 15 miles. So what do we that, that puts us at two six two seventy? So at two seventy one we'll do a pull. Oh man, that feels great. Dude, I'm barely touching that gas. Wow, that's interesting. That's already a different feel. Oh man, I'm barely touching that gas. I'm barely touching that pedal and it's fucking going on me. I mean, I'm like the weight of my foot is keeping it at 20, 21. Fucking awesome, dude. Fucking fuck yes. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, I love it already. Yeah, I would have had to have my foot in like a good, you know, half inch to an inch to get that kind of throttle response. I'm like barely kissing it. And it's like, rah. I mean, obviously it's not rah, but. I feel like it's way more sensitive on the, on the gas, which is how I wish it would have been from the gate, out the gate. So yeah, we're gonna cruise up this way. I'll take you by this haunted house. Oh shoot, yeah. So like I took that corner how I normally would do it and she wanted to get away from me a little bit. So that's gonna take some getting used to. My kid, he just got his license today, ironically. But uh, oh, there's a nice Mustang. Here's the haunted house next door with the red truck. Boom, they have a cool haunted house. So their whole garage is just lit up. Oh, you're gonna be able to see it. Look, the light's on. Fuck yeah, look at this shit, guys. How fucking cool is this? Look at all this shit. Hold on. Dude, and you like, so in Halloween, you come here and you can like walk through here. Like he's in there working. It's super cool. They'll have it all like, so it still looks like a garage with stuff in it right now, but when it's Halloween, it'll look like a straight haunted house. Like you'll go in there and it'll be all curtained off and a little path and they'll have people all over kind of like doing the little haunted house stuff oh yeah the truck runs we've got no check engine light man so far I'm happy I'm happy wow very nice it's a nice jeep mm -hmm. I'm barely touching that throttle, guys. And it's move, it's like moving me through the neighborhood and I'm barely having to touch that gas. So they've made the, the throttle much more uh, responsive. So it goes more for less input. Is that fair? Now, maybe some people might not like that. Maybe people want to have more of uh, more travel before they actually, the truck or the vehicle would move. I don't know, man. I kind of like this better already. And I've been driving this for over three years now. It's holding, it's just keeping me in second gear. Which makes sense, I guess, but like, I'm kind of surprised. The old transmission would already put me in like fifth or something dumb. Like, look, we're still in just second. Interesting. Another thing, the old transmission drove me nuts. It would skip freaking gears and it made no sense at all. I was like, you have 10 gears. Why are you skipping any? It doesn't make any sense. Look, we're hitting them all. Second gear, going up the hill. But uh, on a cold day, on a cold day, you'd start this, and man, it would like, you'd be in first, and then when it would want to shift, it would almost like slip. It'd feel like you dropped your transmission, and then it would throw it into third, and it would just lurch. Oh, it was so dumb. 
when it, only when it's cold, when it's cold in the morning on a cold start, the transmission would act so freaking stupid. I'd bitch about it every morning, like you dumbass trans. So I, I got to the point where I changed my driving to adapt to what the stupid truck was gonna do because I'd anticipate it's gonna do this lunging shit on me. And so like I'd ride that first gear super slow, get it up, like boom. Like I, this is butter already. Ken, I think you did good, man. I mean, I haven't really got to, you know, put anything on it yet, but. Just how it's holding gears around corners and it's not, it's not, like I feel like it would be dancing around like an idiot already and like we're just holding the gear driving because we're fine. What are y'all doing? I'm turning. Do they know? All right, they're turning too. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're rolling blunts or some shit. So yeah. How fucking awesome is that? I love these lights right here. These are so cool. beautiful so anyway I guess y'all are gonna see my house huh fuck it so there's the jeep there's the homies that live down the street see that's my wife's shit right there that's the high tide high velocity 2022 very nice jeep we ordered that from the factory oh all right man well I'm gonna go put some e85 in this sucker and I'm probably going to check the oil and top off oil. I think, yeah, it's only 6 o'clock. I guess it's 7. No, I see my time changed again, too. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What am I doing here? Settings clock. 7.14. Time zone. Central time. Yeah, 7.14, right? Mavado says about that time. All right, I'm going to go put E85 in this. We put two miles on it, right? Yeah, I'm putting E85 in this. I'll upload this video, and then I'll get back to some coin hunts. It's been a while. I need to get through some of that shit. Oh, man. Fucking awesome, you guys. I'm so happy right now. Oh, today was kind of frustrating. It's been kind of a tough, you know, couple few weeks, if not months, but look at this shit up here. My wife is tripping. You see this shit? Do you see this shit? Yeah. Yeah. Here she come. <laughs> so she got fucking the whole graveyard, spider webs, black lights. Just look at this shit, you guys. What is happening? Bam, got your butt on camera. She is hot as fuck. Anyway, that's all I got. We'll get some shit done. I'll let you know how it goes with the E85. I've not ran E85 in this before, so I'm kind of curious how that's going to do. All right? Peace.